Hey YouTubers, here's a quick video on the ProStar MPPT uh, controller that I just installed in the RV. Now this is a 25 amp controller that I've got running and I'm running it on off of two 235 watt Trina um, 60 cell grid type panels. Um, I've got a switch box down here that allows me to switch between running them parallel or running them in a serial configuration. Um, I just shut the switches off. I shut the controller down, flip the switches to whatever I want. And the controller is tied in with some six gauge cable running up to two batteries up front. I'll show you in a second here. As you can see, Controllers come into a shutoff switch to a 30 amp fuse. It looks a little messy, I gotta cover things up, but I've got two 150 amp hour batteries here that control is charging, and these two batteries feed a 1500 watt inverter. The inverter is tied into the AC system of the RV. Um, I've been able to run the refrigerator off the inverters with the panels running and the voltage drop from 13 and a half to about 12.9. I've got a sync switch up there so if I want to charge the house battery without being plugged in I can also charge the stock house battery and I can disconnect everything. So far the results are positive with this MPPT the only issue I've had is I can't seem to be able to get into the custom menu to control the lighting because the controller is mounted in a confined space. I've got a, uh, a fan mount behind it. And I do like the menu. Again, it is it is worth it. I was going to install two 10 amp controllers but uh, Morningstar, I've got one of their uh, PWM controllers in our other RV, and it works fantastic. Um, this thing, haven't seen anything on the YouTube yet, figure I'd show you. I did have this thing spike up to 23, 24 amps, midday sun. So, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, uh, give Morningstar a call. They've been fantastic for tech support.